Guys, welcome to a brand new episode of the Hubert Podcast. I am so excited for today's episode because today I'm kicking off a series that is going to be all about Upwork. Um, Upwork being the world's largest, let's call it freelancing platform where you can go and find jobs, but also post jobs. And um, I've decided that we should go down the rabbit hole and literally try and uncover the dark side of Upwork because or kind of what inspired me to create this series because it'll be at least six or seven episodes in this series is that every time I'm on this platform and I do two things I hire but I also find jobs Upwork in that sense has been very good to me um, not necessarily this year but last year and the year before that I got some really great clients f- from Upwork so it's not about necessarily shading them but it's more about what you find on the platform because when you are looking and you're browsing to figure out what's on there you can find the most insane things on the platform like people will try and hire freelancers to basically do anything and with anything I literally mean anything So today we're going to kick off and today we're going to be talking about divorce because did you know that there is like a shitload of people out there that when they get divorced or they want to get divorced or they're in a divorce or fighting a divorce, they don't, because this is what I would do, right? I would, I would go online, I would probably type into Google divorce lawyer, um, find a few or find one call them and be like hey can I can I have an appointment Uh, you know I'm going through divorce or I want to file for divorce and then deal with the lawyer but that's not what these people do it is so interesting to see that there are so many people out there that turn to a freelancing platform for people to deal with their divorce in many different ways so I've selected I think eight or nine or maybe even ten just random jobs or posts, if you will, on this topic that I wanna kind of critique and go with you. And there are some really crazy ones in there. Um, So without further ado, we're gonna kick it off with the first one. Um, And I haven't fully read them, so I'm gonna read, I just kind of browsed through it and picked a few just to showcase to you what's out there. So the first one is called Wanted Now, Fighter, Par- fighter paralegal to draft NJ I'm gonna assume that's like New Jersey to draft NJ federal district lawsuit against former divorce attorneys so he wants a fighter paralegal to draft a lawsuit against his his or hers former divorce attorneys okay so the budget is 25 to 40 dollars He's going to estimate that it takes more than six months, but less than 10 hours a week. Um, And apparently he's unable to get somebody. And also he's looking for two paralegals. Um, So he says, I need, or I'm assuming, I don't know why, I'm assuming it's a guy, but it's probably not. He says, I need to sue my former divorce lawyers in federal NJ district court for blatant lying, fraud, and exceptional financial loss caused to me during my NJ divorce while taking large retainers and not delivering promised results, all in NJ Federal District Court. I need to Google quickly what that is. NJ Federal District Court, just to make sure that I understand what is NJ. District of New Jersey. Okay, so I guess if you're a paralegal, or I don't know. I mean, again, for me, the assumption is that anything legal you do from a proper um, like law firm, but um, who am I to judge, right? So it's interesting. So he wants to sue his lawyers, God knows why, for blatantly lying, fraud, and exceptional financial loss caused to me during my NJ divorce. So shouldn't you be hiring like an actual lawyer to sue your former lawyers like if you are that upset and they caused you such exceptional financial loss why do you want to put your trust and your faith into a paralegal that you want to pay 25 dollars an hour like it makes no sense to me why you would do that 
And then what's also interesting, uh, because the post has been renewed, meaning that he cannot find anybody on the platform because he has less than five proposals. Um, so yeah, why would you do that? It makes no sense. Like if you want to sue somebody, find a lawyer. The next one, um, oh, that's more generic, I think. It just says divorce filing. Uh, need a professional attorney to file divorce in the state of Virginia. Need help in filing all the relevant paperwork for filing a divorce. Um, okay. Again, why would you? Why would you do that on a freelance platform? My assumption is that lawyers aren't on here. Okay, here's another one. This is going to be interesting. I think it says legal advice. They're looking for an entry level whatever. They're estimating it'll take one to three months for less than 10 hours a week. And they want to pay hourly. And also this one has been renewed, meaning that they can't find anybody. So it says this, hello, I'm currently in my third going on fourth year of a divorce case. I am officially and legally divorced, but am now going through ED. I don't know what that is. I have to Google that. I have counsel, but I'm in a small town where attorneys are all friends and the process is very slow. We have no time requirements and this just prolongs the case. Example, still in discovery process now for two plus years and nothing is being done to move forward. I feel that there are measures that can and should be taken to proceed with the case that are not being pursued due to the friendships involved in brackets. I am looking for someone to provide some legal guidance in whether I can proceed without an attorney, proceed with an attorney, or proceed with current attorney, or proceed on my own with Upwork's attorney's help. Any help with this matter would be greatly appreciated. Thanks, Mark. What is AD? Does anybody know? I'm officially and legally divorced, but I am now going through ED. Let me just Google that and figure out. ED divorce. Divorce. Let me see if I can figure that out. Can I still find ED? ED after divorce. What does that mean? Can I still, I'm just Googling, it says, can I still file for alimony and ED after I obtain my divorce? Let me see what that one says. Equitable, it's me, oh, okay, it says, it's an equitable distribution claim. What does that mean? Does anybody know? Sorry, I'm just going back to Google figuring this out um, what is a claim for equitable distribution a court will only engage in equitable distribution if a divorcing couple is unable to negotiate a property settlement if a couple is able to agree on how to divide a portion of their estate but not their entire estate the court will step in to distribute the undivided portion okay so there might be a house thing in there but again why would you go to a freelancing platform that isn't you know i'm sure there has to be some sort of a legal platform where you could like again my assumption is the entire time based on my experience the homework is not the place where you go to fire to find somebody that can help you in a four-year divorce case like what the hell okay there's another one that says need counsel for divorce and child custody so they have a budget of a thousand dollars also renewed like the fact that these things keep on renewing has to showcase that there is no lawyers on the platform going through divorce and trying to keep joint custody of my son there's more to it as well that's it so basically they need counsel for divorce and child custody and they have a thousand dollars to spend and also i can see that oh yeah that number one this has to be the oklahoma bar association which as a side point it's funny how all these things are in the u.s <laughs> like why is there nobody from outside of the u.s and then here's the thing i guess why i said this is that guess how many lawyers they need like the number that they put of number of freelancers <laughs> has to be a mistake they said they need 99 freelancers so they need an army which i get right if you want to fight for joint custody you probably need really good lawyers but 
come on like it is such an important thing if you want to whatever the circumstances may be don't go to a freelancing platform that is, isn't focused on legal in that sense to fight for your child even if you have i think a thousand dollars probably really low budget there has to be other ways like this is this this isn't it next one what is this ghost writer needed for writing a 45,000 word book they need an entry level oh yeah this is funny i mean throughout this series we'll see there's so much ghost writing happening especially in the next episode which will be about religion like i'm never touching any kind of religious book ever again because it's all ghost written but here 45,000 word book they have a budget of 300 dollars seems quite low okay so what do they want I will provide you an accurate brief about the contents of the book. You will have to do deep research and write a 45,000 word book in perfect English. No grammatical errors will be allowed. A report on plagiarism free, uncoded text and copyright transfer must also be provided. The niche concerns self-help, particular problems relating to divorce from narcissistic people, only native English gross writers. So 45,000 words, $300. I, sorry, I'm just going to do the ma math again. Just to figure out, because I'm curious, what is that per word? So that's 45,000 words divided by a budget of 300 US dollars. No, wait, I'm doing that wrong. Guys, I'm so bad with math. It's ridiculous. 300. Why does it? No, okay, I have to do this the other way around. Sorry, three, is it 300 dollars divided? <laughs> My God. Okay, so that means that you're getting paid, oh shit, uh, 0 0.006 cents per word. So not even 6 cents per word, but like, yeah, 0 0.006 cents. Like, that had that. And the funny thing is, this person has up to 10 proposals already there. So people are willing Nat apparently native English ghostwriters are willing to write books related on the topic to divorce of narcissistic people or divorcing from narcissistic people for 0 0.006 cents per word. That is just crazy. And what else do we have? Okay, so he oh this one is very interesting. It says ethical hacker needed. Fixed price, 50 US dollars. They're looking for an intermediate hacker, an intermediate ethical hacker. So you can be a little bit ethical, but you don't necessarily have to be. So this is what they're saying. They're saying, I have a Samsung cloud backup file and I need the files for an upcoming divorce. I need two things, the password for my emails, which were already authenticated in the Samsung email app. The other thing I need is access to my Google Drive documents. Both sets were already authenticated, but my passwords were changed after my husband gained access. So now I cannot access the files. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so, so, they, so just to recap, they have documents, they have email and other documents in the Samsung cloud. Like who uses Samsung cloud? And I'm assuming this is the, the, my assumption, the woman in the relationship saying, or not, could also be same sex. Um, we're, we're keeping it open minded. Um, basically, the husband can access <laughs> and change the passwords. And now she's trying, to, or he or she's trying to hire a hacker for $50 to hack back into the account. I wonder if this works. I wonder if there's hackers on the platform. It's quite interesting. Um, I'm gonna dive into that. Maybe there's more hacker there but they have less than five proposals my assumption is they don't have anything and fifty dollars seems kind of low would you agree next one this is a lot title is appeal brief ghost rider arizona family court they're willing to give you a weekly retainer of a hundred and fifty five dollars 
they want an expert and they say it will take one to three months and it was also renewed um okay this is a lot of text um arizona family court appeal brief i have been self-representing since since my ex liquidated and all is and all our assets intentionally to ruin my chances for fair equitable divorce oh that's the ed we were talking about earlier property division and spouse support marries 23 years to successful cosmetic surgeon living the luxury life to broke i did horrible job in court and need desperately to get another chance the money is gone hidden by him i'm fighting for my dignity self-worth justice and show him and court they can't do this to people in this case me I do write parts I want to appeal, then you see if my points have legal grounds for Arizona appeal or how I can ground them. My speech transcripts states indiscernible in 80% of the time I speak, meaning I never had a voice. Quick research found this itself is ground for appeal violation due process. The entire basis is pretty much the judge abuse of discretion. In fact, he took my ex-husband and his attorney's word, no proof provided, lies, after unfair ruling based on fraud. X is a fentanyl addict. I guess that's like a drug or a substance. X is a fentanyl addict botching botching patients during surgery in our private surgery center. He hurt many innocent people. Another reason I'm not giving up. Have win appeal if not for me, for them. He alters records, lies, leaving patients hurt and defenseless. I'm happy, follow guidelines. I have procrastinated. It is due the 28th of June. Wait, okay. I fight, I guess you want to say, I, f- I fight for, I don't know what this means. I fight for third extension, but doubt it'll be granted. Please let me know, estimate price. Many thanks. And then her name is Kirsten. Whoa, that's a lot. And it's family court, so I'm assuming there might be some children involved as well. I love it how she's like blackmailing her husband or ex-husband. He's a fentanyl addict, botching patients, and apparently he has liquidated all of their assets and she went from living the successful cosmetic surgeon luxury life to broke um also she says i did a horrible job in court self-representing like why would you self-represent if apparently there's all these assets there's all this money there you've been living a luxury life surely in one way or another you should be able to find an actual lawyer that can help you Again, like, and then now what's so interesting is that she wants to go to the freelance platform to find a ghostwriter to help her write her appeal. Like, if you're going to self-rep, self-rep all the way then. Um, and then $155 a week. My, my confidence is that it's super, super low. But I don't know. So interesting. Okay, here's another one. Another long one. And it says, seeking divorce attorney or strong paralegal for help with divorce filing. But they're looking for an, they're never looking for an entry level lawyer. Again, it will take one to three months and it'll be 10 to 30 hours a week. Okay, let's see what this one is. I'm sadly dealing with is an abusive marriage, which I also realized was attempted marriage fraud as the man I married two and a half years ago here in Florida was sadly and heartbreakingly just trying to use me for a green card and maybe thinking he could get money from my father's death too, sadly. But I believe from online research that it is called marriage fraud to marry someone to try and obtain a green card and it was also a very abusive relationship. I all what I all I almost lost my arm when he slammed the door into me and I had to call the police many times so I would like to file the divorce to stand up for myself and for my life as he has anger issues and addictions and is not stable 
I'm safe from him now, thank God. Now, but I wish to hold him accountable for the marriage fraud. I also found out he bought fraudulent journalist visas for his past USA visas. So I would like to file a complaint for not only divorce with someone temporary with someone with oh with some temporarily alimony of just the years we were married as he really screwed me financially also but also for the fraud of what he put me through as it was not a genuine marriage of love sadly i have started the divorce just filling out info through the online court system but would like to hire an attorney or strong paralegal to help me through this process thank you very much now that's a lot an abusive marriage marriage fraud for some reason please forgive me but i just have to think of 90 day fiance like are you with me on that one yes it is marriage fraud if you intend to marry only for the visa and again i would recommend this person to go online pick up the phone and call an actual lawyer and not a paralegal um, because if my experience watching 90 day fiance taught me anything it is that it is a pain in the ass to get that fraud like i want to say not, not approved but get it like um like get the courts to agree and pro my assumption is that they would like to see this person also just get deported back to their own country but one in ten, and then i lost my arm i had to slam the door into me and i had to call the police many times this is a lot don't so if this is you if this is your thing please don't find an entry-level divorce attorney or a strong paralegal get somebody that can really fight for you that can represent you and that can like make a solid case honestly don't 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 come to up work <laughs> and then the last one um is what does it say real estate civil law professional to help me resolve issues with a co-borrower on a mortgage they're willing to pay 25 to 35 dollars an hour they're looking for an intermediate uh, and it also was renewed so they couldn't find anybody okay let's have a look i need a legal professional to help me obtain documents that show one i have contributed to upkeep and mortgage on a house purchased with my mother okay so he or she is a sibling and they have bought a house together with their mother i have contributed to upkeep and mortgage on a house purchased with my mother two she has been paying the mortgage alone for the past 12 months how does that work then when you say i have contributed to upkeep and mortgage on a house and the next thing is with my mom but she's been paying the mortgage alone for 12 months three she moved over a hundred thousand dollars us from a joint account for the mortgage to her personal account so let's backtrack you buy a house with your mom you both ha are on the mortgage she's been paying for the house for 12 months and you somehow want a document that shows that you've also been paying and probably your mom had enough so she's like i'm gonna move my money out of this so you need to start paying for the mortgage and then number four she illegally had her name put on the deed of my father's house after he died they divorced long before his death okay so this is why divorce showed up okay okay <laughs> so when they're saying real estate slash civil law professional to help me resolve issues with a co-borrower on a mortgage what they're actually meaning is i want to I'm in a I want to screw over my mom I need a legal professional that showed that I have contributed to upkeep and mortgage on a house purchased with my mother she's been paying the mortgage alone for the past 12 months she moved over a hundred thousand dollars from a joint account for the mortgage to a personal account she illegally had her name put on the deed of my father's house after she died they divorced long before is that what I don't get how this again like 25 dollars an hour most likely well actually i don't know in this case i would say 
because I feel that this person wants to really screw over their own mother because I think between the lines what they're saying is I will pay if you're a legal professional I will pay you money if you can somehow draft a legal document that basically confirms that I'm paying the mortgage on the house when actually I haven't I'm really confused by this one okay I'm so confused I don't get it but anyways guys this is kind of what you get like I think what can we conclude from this in recap right there are many people on Upwork that are looking to find a lawyer help them with their divorce help them with what did we have we had child custody ghost writing ethical hacker um, ghost writing for appeal for family court we had the divorce filing suing my mom like honestly right so I'm sitting behind my computer, I'm looking on Upwork, I just type in divorce and all these things pop up. There are so many more on the platform. And to be honest, this is only the tip of the iceberg. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to end the episode. This was the first episode of going down the rabbit hole of what Upwork has to offer. These were like, I don't know, maybe eight or nine random examples of things that you can find in the divorce space on Upwork. Next episode, we're going to be talking about religion. And there we're going to be talking about basically on Upwork, you have anything from the Antichrist all the way down to Islamic poetry and literally anything that you can imagine in between. It is another rabbit hole that we're going to explore. Um, if you're new, please subscribe. I really enjoyed researching and creating this episode just because it comes so natural. I'm on this platform, I'm seeing these things and uh, I figured I would just share it with you because it's kind of crazy, it is insane, it's not normal, right? So again, thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.